So this is a quick video on how to upload files into your Box account. So as you can see, I am in my dashboard here on Box, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a file to my Box account. Now, personally, I always try to organize things, so you'll see I have folders here, and Box basically is just a storage system, so think of it like a hard drive that lives out in the cloud somewhere, and in the same way that you probably have your hard drive organized into different folders. You might have a folder for teaching and then underneath that teaching folder you might have a folder for each of the courses that you teach. And then depending upon how elaborate the material that you're keeping there is, you may have subfolders under each of the courses, maybe by topic or by week or um, a folder for readings, another folder for lectures, another folder for PowerPoints, you know, that kind of structure. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a little bit of structure here. So I'm going to create a folder called teaching. And you'll see because it's the most recent one, it pops up there at the top. And then I'm just going to go in here. And for me, I'm not going to use this a lot for any additional information. So I'm not going to upload a lot of files in here. So a single folder for teaching is going to be good enough for me. So I can then, if I want to upload a file, there's actually two ways in which you can do it. The first is you can click on the upload button here or the upload button over here in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to click the one over here and it'll just bring up your item here, your, your menu here. These are all the files on my computer. So I'm going to navigate to myself and then to the university and then into my teaching folder. And you can see I've got mine organized by courses that I've taught. So here's a course that I've taught and here's my PowerPoints. And then I'm just going to go in and I'm going to upload this PowerPoint here. And you can see now it's uploading across the bottom. And when it gets over to here, it'll say that it's done and one item successful and you can see the item appears right here. Now one of the things that I always try to remember to do as soon as I upload a file is I'll come over here to the share option on the far right side of that particular one and if you don't see it right away just so as you notice I move my cursor off and it goes away so if you put your cursor over it you'll see that it shows up again so I always go over to share and then I will click on enable share link and then I will change this down here from people in my company to people with the link. So that way, if I wanted to share this file in an email to students, or if I wanted to link it into Canvas, or if I wanted to post it in an announcement, all I have to do is just copy this address here, this URL, and just hit copy there, and it says it's been copied. And now I can go paste it into a... Um, an email, uh, a page in Canvas. I can make it as a link in if I use the modules option in Canvas. So there's a number of different things that I can do there. So that's one way. You basically just use the upload button there. And you'll notice after you upload something once, the upload button that was right here disappears. So you always have to use the one in the top right after you've got something there. Now the second way in which you can upload a file is if you are navigating to your um, place. So I'm going to go into my directory again, into TUC, into teaching, back into my course, and there's my PowerPoints. And if I were to take any of these here now, and I'll just organize them like this, and drag them over into Box, they will upload. And this is really useful if you want to upload multiple files. So say I want to upload this one, and I want to upload this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. So that's five files. Instead of having to click Upload over here five times and do each one individually, I can just take all of them and drag them over here and just drop them. And you'll see now it's uploading all five of them. And you can see the percentages that they're moving over here. And this bar here represents the overall upload. And you'll notice that as they finish, they've been popping up over here. And now they're done. It disappears. So there's all six of them in there. And then I'd want to go in and share each one. So that way I can get the links in there.
So that's how you would upload a file into Box. Actually, it's a couple of ways in which you could upload a file into Box. So this has been a quick video on how you can upload individual or multiple files into your Box account.